This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Good morning, it's Kyler Cruz here. Here are the latest stories we're following from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. A deadly crash closed part of Loop 202 this morning for hours as investigators looked for clues and a suspect. We're told someone ran from the accident. It was a two car crash that happened just before midnight. One of the cars, an SUV, appears to have rolled up the embankment. DPS tells us a suspect ran from the other car. Two teenagers under the age of 16 are facing charges for making false threats against the schools they attend. You may remember one of those threats forced thousands of kids out of their classrooms in Mesa. Police say a 14 year old girl from Red Mountain High School claimed that she had a bomb in her backpack. She admitted to making the threat. The other student is from Dobson High School. He is 15. Police say he posted a threat on social media that led to a lockdown of the school. Officers say these are isolated incidents and they are not tied to other threats in the area. Checking the latest COVID numbers, the Department of Health Services reports more than 2,700 new cases today, along with 108 deaths linked to the virus. Right now, about 51% of Arizona's population is fully vaccinated. Starting Monday, more than a dozen Valley Entertainment venues will start requiring proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test. The Scottsdale Performing Center for the Arts is the latest to enforce these new pandemic precautions. If you want to see a show, you're going to have to uh, get a negative COVID test within 72 hours or show your vaccination card. They say it came down to protecting performers and everyone in the audience. We know it's an inconvenience to our audiences, but we live through very difficult times right now. And if this inconvenience is a small price we have to pay to be able to still participate and keep everybody safe, I think it's the right thing to do. Not everyone supports the new health policy. Some say mandatory testing and vaccinations to see a show is just wrong. Blackstaff was just rated the Arizona city with the rudest drivers. Insurify.com defines Rude driving is having infractions on your record like tailgating, street racing, or hit and run. It came up with its list after going through millions of insurance applications. And even though Flagstaff was deemed the worst here in Arizona, it is nowhere near the worst in the country. The top three cities were no surprise in California. Happy Saturday, meteorologist Kim Quintero here. We're looking at cooler temperatures, but higher humidity. The high today, 97 degrees, partly cloudy skies. Then a 40% chance of isolated showers and storms this afternoon and this evening. Tonight, clearing skies with a low of 79 degrees. Sunshine returns on Sunday with a high of 100. We'll teeter-totter between the upper 90s and low 100s Monday through Friday next week. Those morning lows in the 70s and as of right now, no rain expected for the first few days of fall. Thank you, Kim, for updates on more stories we are following. You can always download our app and subscribe to our YouTube and Roku channels. I'm Kylie. Hope you have a great Saturday and a great football watching day as well.